Hi, a little boot review today. Um, these are the Thoroughgood um, 6 inch mock toe boots in tobacco. Um, came across these uh, a couple of years ago um, when I was looking at sort of workwear, sort of stuff to go with nice denim. Um, really got sort of interested in the sort of red wings, sort of the sort of white soled mock toe style boot. Now, at that point, Thoroughgood looked like a, a great option, but living in the UK, um, there weren't any suppliers and obviously I was reliant on bringing them into the country and that was going to present me with some problems. Um, so at that point I did get some Red Wings. Um, but in 2015, a UK distributor set up, um, meaning that we can now get these very easily in the UK and they become a very real option. Um, so something really I always wanted to try out and you know a very interesting boot to consider. Um, so in this video I'll just do a little overview of the boots. Um, I'll do another video um, comparing them to Red Wings because I think that's quite an interesting comparison and something I was always interested in doing. So I don't think there's anyone on YouTube that's done it yet. So when I've done that, I'll put the link in below the video and you can check that out. Um, so as I say, proud American company, lots of heritage. Um, it's actually a longer standing company than Red Wing, uh, having traded for eight years longer and being set up initially as the Alfred Weinbrenner uh, Shoe Company in 1892 um, and also can hold the title of being the first bootmaker setting up in the, uh, the US as well. So that's quite interesting. So actually, you know, if, you, if you're about American heritage, um, these have certainly got it. So let's get into the, into the box. Um, in the box, obviously you've got the uh, catalogue, a little bit of sort of information about their other products. And then you've got a few little hang tags, which I'll get onto in a second, and the boots themselves. So let's pop out the boots, so I can get rid of the box. So, boots. And just looking at these hang tags, you've got one which is the uh, the tanning company that they use, so American sourced leather from a single tanning company. So you know the quality is going to be something they've got some control over and consistency. You've got a little label here which is just talking about some of the various features that are in their range of boots. And then this label is probably the most interesting label. It says totally American, an employee owned company. So this is what you describe as union made. Um, probably something which isn't that sort of common to us over here in the UK, um, but the employees have a stake in the company and therefore you know, one assumes that they take that little bit of extra pride and they've got that vested interest in making sure the product is as good as it could be. So I think that's quite an interesting little thing. I think it's probably more common in the US than in the UK, but you know, I thought that was interesting. So, onto the boots. As I say, quality American made, handmade boots, American source materials, labour, um, and sort of completely made in the US. You know, the quality of the leather is obviously really good. Um, nice, a waxy feel. Um, on the sides here, it's actually quite supple. If you've ever had Red Wings, you'll know that the, uh, the break-in period can be quite torturous where you, you've got to break the sides of the boot to, to fit your foot, feet and that will mean sort of little and often and plenty of blisters along the way. But this is actually very supple, uh, which is sort of a welcome change. Um, that's complemented by a very firm sort of toe cap. So the, the shape of the boot, the classic mock toe shape, will sort of be maintained. Um, and won't be sacrificed to this sort of the comfort of having a more supple side there. Um, the colour is described as tobacco. It's a, I think it's fair to say it's a true tan, a true sort of brown. Um, there's no real sort of ready tones or anything in there. It's it's just a nice brown boot, so that will sort of age really quite nicely. The boots triple stitched in their key areas. Double stitched on the heel, triple stitched along here. So good solid construction. Um, the sole is a Max Wear wedge. Um, so, so it takes a tra uh, traditional look of the Christie sole, um, but this particular one is 
um, a polyurethane Maxwear wedge. Um, I really like the white soles on these boots, this Stana boot. Um, I just don't think they'd be the same without it. The Red Wing soles I found really wear very quickly and they, they tend to sort of um, exaggerate your sort of walking pattern so you get sort of a, a sort of worn heel very severely. Um, this compound, whilst it's still got like a lot of spring, pretty comfortable, um, it does seem to be a slightly firmer compound so the wear will hopefully be managed a bit more. Um, the reason why it's a single sort of level rather than a sort of a stepped heel is really to help with traction on uh, sort of on wet ground, on grass, in woods, and I think these boots really were sort of designed for, for outdoors persons, um, hunters, and then they were sort of adopted by um, people who spent the whole day on their feet, and so certainly people who go up and down ladders where, you know, having that little step can really sort of hinder your progress up a ladder as you sort of jam it on the rungs. Um, but really, to be honest, it looks great fashion-wise. I really like it. So, looking at how the how the sole is uh, actually attached to the boot, um, this is what Thorogood describe as a um, Norwegian, sorry, a Goodyear storm welt. Um, other other companies might describe it as a Norwegian welt or a triple welt, and what that actually means is it's actually an extra um, fold of leather, extra stitching, which just makes water makes it a little bit harder for water to penetrate into the boot. The benefit of a welt construction on any shoe, any, on any boot, is that you can basically tear off the sole um, from that point downwards and then reapply it, re-stitch it, re-glue it, um, and then you can sort of bring your boots back to life. And that's really quite important when you're investing quite a lot of money in the boots. You're also investing a lot of time in some of these boots, especially Red Wings, in the break-in. So after a year or so, after two years, when the boots are starting to get a bit worn, you know, they're getting really comfy, but you probably need a new sole, so it's really nice to be able to resole them. Um, also assisting with um, waterproofing is the bellows tongue. So a fairly common feature on, uh, on boots, but having a bellows tongue is essential in my opinion. Um, and it just means that sort of water doesn't come in as soon as it gets to that level, you can sort of splash around a little bit deeper. Okay, so... Talking of comfort, inside the boot there is a um, a padded um, insole. It's a dual density ultimate shock absorption footbed, as they describe it on the literature. It's a Poron 4000 comfort cushion insole. Um, what that really means, and I'll get it, get it out so you can see it, is that it's got these um, extra pads of sort of shock absorbing material. Uh, just to give that little bit of extra bounce, that little bit of extra comfort, and obviously having an insole helps with sort of managing sweat on hot days as well. So that's quite useful. I'll pop that back in a minute. Um, so that's quite comfortable, and also something Red Wing boots don't tend to have. Um, so you know, an extra bit of immediate comfort in the boots. Um, the inside of the boot at the front here is also lined with a cotton vamp, um, which means that sort of wicking. Again, for, for hot days means that your feet can keep that a little bit cooler and sort of manage the, the sweat in there. Getting the boots on and off is assisted by these uh, little hooks, which means that you don't have to fiddle trying to get your lace into a tiny little hole, so that's quite useful. Um, and that's about it really. Um, what else is there? Ah, nice padded collar, leather lined padded collar, loop at the rear to get these boots on it with comfort, with ease. And just looking around them, while some boots really don't shout about their brand, about their heritage, um, Thorough could have some really nice branding on here. So they've got a little brand on the heel cap, they've got the US made tab here, and they've got their branding again on the tongue, which I think is quite nice. Um, so really, um, all there is to do is probably zoom in for a little bit of a a look at the detail. Um, I think I'll pop them on, let you have a look at them on. And uh, probably the last thing for me to say is about fit. Um, these I would consider a true eight, so they're true to size. Um, 
I wouldn't advise downsizing or anything like that. Um, you know, th these seem to be true to size, as I say, and the break-in, um, the width of them, and the softer leather will be a, a little bit easier than maybe the sort of comparable uh, Red Wings. So something to consider, um, and certainly these are really great boots. Okay, well let's uh, just cut in a bit of detail, try them on, and then we'll bring it to a close. Thank you very much, bye bye. So just taking a quick look at the detail, you can see the triple uh, welted Goodyear storm welt sole there. You can see the stri triple stitching, nice bit of branding, US made flag, got the max wear wedge, the loop on the heel, triple stitching up the heel there. Nice stitching, clean stitching around the, the toe area. Got the eyelets, or hooks rather. The bellows tongue. Yeah, really nice, well detailed, well thought out quality boots.